Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is Terrence Pounds back with another investment video update. Uh, this one is on Novatech. Um, I'm sure you have probably seen the news articles that are talking about the cease and desist for Novatech. Um, it came out November 22nd, 22. Defendants Novatech, Novatech LDD, Novatech FX, Novatech Advisors, Novatech Nova Pay. Uh, here's the actual PDF, which you can take a look at from CA.gov. It is a desist and refrain order uh, against these names that were here. And they do go as far as to uh, put a few things in this complaint, just saying that Novatech does not have the right to operate inside of the state of California. Now, mind you, there is another five or six states that Novatech does not operate in. And we don't know if this is just going to be added to the list or is this the beginning of something more? Um, I'm not going to sit here and act like I can tell the future. You should do your own research. But as part of what I do is to tell you about the investments that I'm in, uh, the news when I hear it, things that are going around. And if nothing else, I think that it is at least worth looking at for sure. Uh, but once again, you can easily get to this. Is this uh, this thing has been floating around? Just look up Novatech desist and refrain order from this date here. You can go to dfpi.ca.gov. And so people are wondering now. Well, if this is going on with Novatech, should I pull my money out? Should I transfer my money? Well, let me go ahead and say I'm not a financial advisor. I can't tell you what to do. I didn't tell you that uh, this thing would last forever. If I told you about it, I probably told you there's a risk to everything. Only invest what you can afford to lose. And Novatech is no different than any other thing out in this space. And, and I'm appreciative that Novatech has been around for three and a half years and Novatech hasn't had any problem paying people. Uh, but in the same token, I don't know the future. And what I'm going to do for myself, this is what I'm going to do for myself. I'm actually going to move some of my money out of Novatech. Now, over the last couple of weeks, I've moved a lot of money around to jump in some other platforms. But I'll tell you, while I was with Novatech, I slept a little bit better. Um, even though I have some good ones, I felt really good with Novatech. But this right here, I am going to have to take this seriously and I am going to make a move. So what I'm going to do is I am going to go into one of my Novatech accounts here. This is actually my mother's account and I manage it obviously for her because she is older and none of this stuff makes sense to her. But I thought it was a great opportunity. And so I told her and my mom and dad about it and I wanted to get them signed up. And so here's my mom's account. I've never withdrawn any money from my mom's account, uh, but I am going to go get it set up to withdraw today. Now, one thing you need to know is if you haven't already set up a withdrawal address, then you are going to um, need to do that first. You are going to need to uh, set up your your withdrawal address and then there's a 24 hour waiting time. So wallet address update. It's right under e-wallet, not log into e-wallet, not your auto transfer. It's wallet address update. So I'm going to go here and update the address where I want my money sent to. Oh, it looks like I already have a Litecoin address in here. So I must have done this before. So I'm not even going to change the Litecoin address. Um, but you do have the options of Litecoin, BTC, uh, Ether, uh, USDT20. But I'm going to just leave the Litecoin address in here that I already updated. And actually, let me jump out of this account. I'm going to jump in an account where this hasn't been done because you guys are going to have questions about this. So even though I haven't withdrawn, I clearly set up that for my mother already. Let me do this one here. We are going to go to, let me see here. We are going to do, we are going to do my son's account. So same thing I was going to do earlier. We are going to go to my son's account. We have never withdrawn from his account either. So this is the process you sign into your account. Let me see what my son has in here. 
he has $704.85. And so once again, e-wallet, don't need these notes, wallet address update. And you see he has no wallet address in here. I like using USDT TRC20. So I am going to go get him a USDT TRC20 address right now to his wallet. And I am going to email this to myself so that I can have it. And so what you essentially do is you go in your wallet, whichever one you use, and you would click the deposit or send button or receive button in order to get the address that you want to direct your money to. And let me do this. And this is USDT, USDT, TRC20, Binance. So I'm gonna have this sent to Binance Wallet, USDT, TRC20, let me paste this. And you'll see why I'm doing it this way, folks. I did all of that from my phone. Um, I grabbed the deposit address from my phone. I sent it over to myself in the email so that I can easily go in here and you see that's my USDT TRC20 address from Binance. And you can use your KuCoin or anybody or you can use really any 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 of these uh, exchanges. You can even send it back as Ether or something else to Coinbase. But I'm going to grab this address here. I'm going to go over here to Novatech. I'm going to paste this coin wallet address in here. I'm going to make sure that's right. TFT S7E. TFT S7E looks correct to me. Save wallet address. Please ensure coin type matches wallet address. Do you wish to save? Yes, I would like to save it. Now, what they come up now is Google Authenticator. Please enter the security code you get on your Google Authenticator. If you do not have Google Authenticator app installed, please install the application using secret key or QR code. Please get the setup code for configuring Google Authenticator on your device, registered email or phone number. Now, I always do email because it has never came through when I tried to set it up on the phone number. So it's going to my email I set up set up code using email. Now what happened is they sent an update code to my email address. I already have that. And then they also send me a, a code to scan for my QR code. Now let me see if I have this email connected here. So I can show you what comes in the email. And you guys probably don't need to see all of this, but just in case, maybe it will help somebody. So let me jump into this email. Hopefully I got the password saved on here. Okay, beautiful. Looks like I'm getting into this email. And then I'm going to have a direct setup key from Novatech. You see the support setup Google Authenticator code. And so they give you this key that you can copy and paste in the Google Authenticator, or you can just scan the code. And so I'm just going to scan the code. Let me get my Google Authenticator up. And I am going to scan this code. Scan QR code. Bink. Uh-oh. Well, I didn't want to take it that quick. Let me download this and open it up. Sometimes you actually got to open this thing up. And if not, I'll go back and get the key and just put it in there myself. Is this today? Oh, goodness gracious. Just to open up this key. Let me do this. Here we go. Just open up and scan, please. Okay, it got it. Novatech new members, it came up in my thing, so I'm completely done there. I got that really quick. And now they want you to enter the security code for that 831 581 save, please wait. Boom, so wallet coin address successfully saved. Now, what you'll notice, if I try to log into my e-wallet, they're not gonna let you withdraw anything for 24 hours. The reason why is, just in case somebody can't, 
And so they wouldn't want somebody just to come and put in the address and take your money. Please refer to this information, coin wallet, everything's updated there. Boom. Now let me show you if I were to try to withdraw. So request for cash out. This is how you cash out, but you're going to have to wait 24 hours from the time that you update that address. So you go here and then anything you cash out from your, you edited your user information in the last 24 hours. Cash out is not allowed. So once your address is updated, which let me, let me actually log out of here because in 24 hours, your address will be updated. Let me log back into my mother's so that you can see how this cash out is actually done. All right. So you've seen what happens there just to be able to be ready to withdraw. Then let me show you how you're going to withdraw once your address is updated 24 hours later. So now I'm actually back into my mother's account. I'm going to go into her e-wallet. She has uh, 3157 in there, right? So I am going to log into her e-wallet. And then I am going to request for a cash out. I am going to proceed. And then I am not drawing from the bonus account. Here's where you would toggle to the trading account. And there's 3157 in there. And then I am taking out 2900, 2957.58. So I am leaving $200 in this account for now. And then notes, withdraw. And then you have to enter your four digit wallet pin, transfer funds. Confirm. And that's it. And then uh, it's seven to 15 business days, folks. I'm, I've withdrawn from my other account, my bonus account, excuse me, my funding account, trading account. It takes seven to 15 business days. So one took me 12 business days. The other one took the full 21 business days. So don't worry. Don't act crazy. That's just what happens. But hey, folks, I'm not telling you to withdraw your money. I'm not telling you to do anything. I just wanted to bring the news to you and what's going on. You make your own decision. You make the decision if this is something that you want to move your funds. Um, I do have other options. I'm moving some funds over to a platform called Funds. They're doing 3% a week. They stake. They've been around with the same payment team for over six years with on-time payments. So if you love Novatech and you just would like some passive money again, I am making the move to move the majority of my money till funds until I hear more about Novatech. But once again, this is not investment advice. I'm not your investment advisor. I'm just a guy documenting my experience of wins and losses. But please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like this, share it with a friend, let somebody know. I appreciate you. Peace.